Hi guys, so here's another video lesson para mas maintindihan niyo ang topic na subtraction of polynomials. So let's start. So if you have watched my last video, video lesson that is addition of polynomials, so we can start with we can start right through it subtraction of polynomials. So alam niyo na yung um, similar and dissimilar or unlike and like terms. So pwede na tayong mag-start with subtraction of polynomials. So example number 1, we have 5x minus 13x. So, ito yung simpleng subtraction of polynomials lang. So, 5x minus 13x, mas malaki yung 13 kaysa 5. So, ang sign ng 13 is negative. So, ang sagot natin is negative 8x. Yun yung mga simpleng or subtraction of polynomials lang. So, in subtraction of polynomials, mas mahahaba na ang ating gagawin. So, we have example number 2. 2x squared minus 15x plus 25 minus 3x squared plus 12x minus 18. So, how, we, how do we subtract polynomials? So, first is to copy yung first term, ano natin, first expression. So, that is 2x squared minus 15x plus 25. Kakopyahin lang natin siya. And then, syempre, itatapat natin yung mga magkakaparehas. So, negative 13x squared, tatapat natin sa 2x squared. Positive 12x, tatapat natin sa negative 15x. And then, yung negative 18, itatapat natin sa positive 25. But before we start with that, before we start subtracting then, ang sabi po dyan, in subtraction of polynomials, ang gagawin natin is to change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to the addition rule. So, kanina, ima minus na, nakasulat na yan, minus 3x squared plus 12x minus 18. Hindi tayo magdadrag yung subtraction agad. Ang gagawin natin is to change the sign of the subtrahend. So, magiging negative 3x squared, yung positive 3x squared, kanina pa, positive 12x, magiging negative 12x, and then yung negative 18, magiging positive 18. And then, we continue with the addition rule. So, 2x squared minus 3x squared, that is negative x squared. 15x and negative 12x, parehas negative. Pagsasamahin, magiging negative 27x. Positive 25, positive 18, magkaparehas, that is positive 43. So, that is how we subtract polynomials. Let's have another example. Subtract 3x squared y cubed minus 5x squared 5xy squared plus 4y from negative 4xy squared plus 6x squared y cubed plus y minus 2. So, ang sub is subtract from. So, ang uunahin natin kopyahin dyan is negative 4x squared plus 6x squared y cubed plus y minus 2. Kasi from daw. So, dapat siya yung mauna. So, tatapat natin yung 3x squared y cubed. So, kaparehas niya is sa 6x squared. And then, itatapat natin ang negative 5xy squared sa negative xy squared. And then, itatapat naman natin ang positive 4y sa positive y dahil sila ay parehas na y lang. Pero, ang sabi ulit ay magpapalit tayo ng sign. So, kung kanina negative 5x squared positive 3x squared magpapalit tayo magiging positive na to, negative, and then magiging negative na yung positive, and then magiging negative naman yung positive for y. And then continue with the additions of subtraction, as addition of polynomials rule. So, negative 4x squared, xy squared, pag pinagsama silang dalawa, magkaiba ng sign, so mas malaki yung 5. Ang sign ng 5 is positive, so 5 minus 4 is 1. Invisible yung 1, kaya hindi na sulat. Next is positive 6 and negative 3. Magkaiba na naman ang sign. So, kukopyain natin yung sign ng mas malaki. Ang sign ng mas malaki is 6, positive. So, magiging positive 3xy squared, x squared y cubed. And then, negative 4y and positive y. Mas malaki ang negative 4 kaya sa 1. So, isasubtract natin. Kukopyain natin ang sign ng negative 4. So, magiging negative 3y. And then, copy lang ang negative 2 dahil wala siyang parehas. So, kung naiintindihan yung topic natin ngayon na subtraction of polynomials, try answering our activity numbers 1 to 5. Again, kapag nasagutan ninyo, send your answer through me or sa akin chat nyo ako sa Facebook para malaman niyo kung tama kayo. Okay? So, thank you again for watching the video. Bye!